All right, welcome back to Crypto Comics. I am super excited to talk about Dark Child today. This is a fantastic comic book series. Because the, the Homage Studios swimsuit comic book we did uh, a few days back was so popular, I decided to bust out the Dark Child 1998 Swimsuit Illustrated. Not Sports Illustrated. We're not getting sued here. It's the Swimsuit Illustrated book. Uh, just for fun, I would recommend picking up Dark Child, though. Not necessarily the swimsuit issues, but the, the actual uh, series is fantastic. It originally came out from Rob Liefeld's Maximum Press, and then it was uh, released through Homage Studios. And lastly, it was most recently released through Wowio, I think. Uh, it's by a gentleman by the name of Randy Queen, who is an incredibly talented artist and came up with a really unique character. This is Ariel Child, and her unique ability is that she can actually become the monsters from her nightmares. And she has to use her unique abilities to save her town. And it's very original, highly original idea, and uh, with stunning, stunning art. I mean, I don't know if there's someone who draws women uh, sexier than Randy Queen does. And so we're just going to pop it open and just take a quick look at some of this beautiful art. Uh, this, uh, this comic book actually was the hottest comic book of 1996. It was number one in the wizard, you know, hot comics for nine months. It outsold Spider-Man, the Hulk, Superman, and Batman in the United States. Uh, quickly garnered uh, uh, an unusually large female following also, which, uh, you know, anybody in the comic industry tells you, you know, I, I would say 90% of the industry is, is male fans, 10% are female fans. Uh, but this is such a unique story. You see your claws here. It's becoming one of the monsters. Uh, it's such a unique story that it just it appealed to everyone. And, and the art is uh, phenomenal, just stunning. And so we'll just go through some of it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it really captures this lanky female form. Quite well, her legs are exceptionally long in this picture, but you know, I like a long legged girl. The demon putting the sunblock on her. If you haven't, if you have never read this comic, you know, I actually I think these issues might be uh, a little pricey still uh, because the stories, you know, has held up. So you might want to go check this one out. I know I would recommend it more than I would recommend any other comic from Maximum Press. Uh, Dark Child is, is the one to pick up. Jeez, we're just gonna maybe keep it this way for a while. That's really stunning. This is by Kevin Cha. Very stunning piece of art there. Just pencils. Beautiful, beautiful pencils. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's not her, that's Danger Girl. That's, she's Bubblicious. By J. Scott Campbell. Danger Girl's also a really fun reg. This has actually been optioned by a Hollywood studio. I think maybe Lionsgate optioned Danger Girl. Blonde hair, baby blues, long legs, and attitude this summer. She's back. Dark Child is coming back. The Legacy, summer of 98. Hmm. I want to... I want to know who this is, though. Who's that girl? Hmm. Let's keep it this way. I see I don't have much to say here uh, because this art is really breathtaking. Not necessarily the last one, but this is very breathtaking. Jay Pitarelli. Oh. There we go. This is Chance Wolf, who was the inker on Jim Valentino's Shadowhawk. And Chance Wolf uh, is a fine artist in his own right. By far. I like these little demons, too. These little buggers are, are really fun. Kind of reminds me of uh, the little demons in Out There, which is a comic book from the Cliffhanger imprint at Wildstorm. 
this was from the uh, after Maximum Press shut down. Randy Queen took Dark Child to Wildstorm, and they released it through Homage Comics. See, she turns into this mom. This is very unique. It's very... Oh, this is by... You know who this is by? This is by Ethan Van Skyver uh, of Comicsgate Lore, all caps comics. How about that? A little Van Skyver artwork for you fanboys out there. Hmm. Hmm. Another one by Cha. Kevin Cha, really, really talented artist. Yeah, they do remind me a lot of the little buggers from out there. I just would recommend that comic book if you've never read it. Check that out too from Cliffhanger. Oh, here we go. Now this should be interesting. This is a. Uh, this is Randy Queen. I just never pictured him looking like this at all. He's a very handsome young man and a very flashy, electrifying shirt that he stole from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I guess. So there you go. That's Randy Queen. I just, I pictured, I pictured a dude who was like long, curly, uh, brown hair and like a beard, like a guy that looked like he should maybe maybe play drums or bass guitar for a butt rock band from the from the 80s and i apparently was entirely incorrect in thinking that that must be what randy queen looks like so this is blowing my mind he looks kind of like uh, a twilight vampire told you time would fly here we are again and we're going to be starting this whole thing called dark child up again very soon and the book you're holding in your hands is the beginning stages of that as some of you already know, I recently relocated out west from my home oh, from my home in Georgia and have spent the time in the interim getting settled in and writing the next chapter in Ariel's life and subsequently my own. The first phase of that new chapter will be out next month in the form of Dark Child number zero. And yes, it really will be out next month. It picks up a week or so after the conclusion of issue five of the first series and is written by myself with art by new discovery Ken Cha who some of you may be familiar with from the Wizard One Half issue. Mm -hmm. I've been working closely with Kev since then. What is his name? His name is Keu Cha. Not Kevin Cha. Excuse me. I just thought it was K-E-V, and it was short for Kevin. Okay. Q, uh, I've been working closely with Q since then, and while the One Half issue was good, the number zero issue is just gorgeous. Why Q? Well, he's good and he's a faster penciler than me. And while he's been working away on number zero, guess who's been drawing the new Dark Child number one, slated to roll out shortly thereafter? That's right, yours truly. It'll be a natural extension of the Dark Child Odyssey, as well as an ambitious revisitation of the original Dark Child concept. The story will be tougher to tell, and not as clear-cut as the first arc, and will have more layers and texture to it. You'll see some old favorite characters fleshed out. Some will die, and new favorites will be introduced. But that's about all I'm willing to let slip at this point. If it sounds vague, well, it's supposed to. I hope you enjoy the different images of Ariel presented here by myself and my colleagues. I really enjoy seeing the pieces come together, and I'd like to give particular thanks to Brandon Peterson, Mike Waringo, Steve Furchow, and Jim Lee for taking time out from busy schedules to be included. Glad to have you in here, guys. On the next page are some photos of me and my friend, Travis Oscarson, on the set of the television show Buffy the Vampire Slayer in Santa Monica at the 20th Century Fox lot. Travis was tapped to play the werewolf and got to chase Sarah Michelle Gellar around all day and got paid for it even. Travis asked me if I wanted to join in on the festivities and well, he really didn't have to twist my arm. He choked me into it. So if you missed my three seconds of screen time dancing in the, bron in the bronze club, maybe you can catch it in a rerun. Also, oddly enough, the security guard for 20th Century Fox was a big Dark Child fan and recognized me. Hi, Wendell. He laughed and said now he knows why my cup book never comes out. Jeez, it was just one day. If you haven't been checking out Buffy, look, I'm not going to plug Buffy here for it. Anyway, it's on to your letters. I do want to say that I take time to read each and every one of them and I'm appreciative of all your kind words regarding my health and of your patience. Okay, so... Oh, plenty of letters columns here. Okay, that's fun. Oh, divine right. I don't know what this is. 
I like the look though. This looks really good. Jim Lee is drawing this? This doesn't really look like a Jim Lee piece of artwork to me. But maybe it is. Hmm. Interesting. This is The Adventures of Max Faraday. Hmm. Okay. Very unique. Want to know what happens next? You got to pick up Dark Child number zero, the exciting lead in to the new series. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Man. Really fantastic. Dark Child Delights, variant edition comic. Oh, yeah. You can get all the different issues. That's for sure. You can get the t shirt and the hat. And this shows you how popular it was, T-shirts and hats being sold. Uh, these super rare 4x3 jumbo holochrome cards were given away to a select few at last summer's biggest cons. Now you can get your hands on one signed for only five measly dollars. And a signed Wizard exclusive Dark Child 1 half for only $15. It's like two bucks to have that shipped to you back in the day through Wizard. He's, uh, yeah, he's marking it up for sure. And who can blame him? That's what it's all about. That's the name of the game. Dark Child, collecting issues one through five. The trade paperback is out now. Pick up that TPB. All this in Nightmares 2. Yeah, so that's Dark Child, uh, the swimsuit illustrated. What you want to do is you want to go to your local comic shop and you want to pick up uh, the first series, one through five, and see if it's to your liking. I have a feeling it will be if you're into darker stories with beautiful women and incredible colors and amazing artwork you cannot go wrong with this with this series you cannot go wrong with this and uh, maybe we'll review it in the future here on uh on crypto comics we'll see in the meantime if you liked this swimsuit illustrated please give this a thumbs up please share these videos with your friends who love comic books too and help grow crypto comics as we continue on into the future into the year 2019. And I will talk to you all very soon on another comic book review right here on What? Crypto Comics. Thanks for watching.